uh, let's talk about this last one. It's got a mix of everything that came before it. So we'll go ahead and do this here. I think we'll start by recognizing the roots. This is the third root and the fifth root. And then 10, I'm gonna make that immediately here, two times five, so that we're prime factorizing those. Uh, all right, so this is the inside part, but it's the cube root, which is equivalent to the one-third exponent. All right, so those are the same thing, although different looking at least. Uh, same thing here, this is 25, five squared, x cubed, and then the rule with the fifth root, it would be equivalent to the one-fifth power. All right, so at least we got exponents, we can do our exponent rules, and we already discussed what happens when you have a power to another power, and that was the situation where you multiplied those. And we have to do that first before we go ahead and later we will add these at some point, but we can't do it yet. We have to deal with the parentheses. So this is two to the first, five to the first, x squared, and this one third is acting on all three pieces. So the two to the first becomes two to the one third, by way of multiplication. Same story here. And then the x is times two times one third is two thirds. All right, so that was this piece. We'll do the next part here. And then we can add like these bases, the x's, those are the same. And so when you multiply things that are the same base, you add the exponents, which is going to require a common denominator. Same with the fives. Uh, the two can be, that could be just left alone. Uh, one third, common denominator is fifteenths. So we're going to multiply that by five. So it'd be five fifteenths. And x, same th thing here, we're going to make this ten fifteenths. It's two thirds. Multiply this by three, and this one by three. Okay, so now they have the same denominator, so it's such that we can add those. Um, the two is the same thing. The fives, how many factors of five? Well, we've got almost a whole factor here. And then the x's, and that's the practice with the roots. You got all your exponent rules at play. And although it doesn't look good, uh, that's what we're practicing. And this is kind of the mechanism that we'll use to practice the, those skills.